Welcome to Kids Fun Club. Today, we're going to answer a question that most children have been asking us, and it is also a very, very important question. And the question is, how are babies made? If you have been wondering how a baby is made, and you're still looking for an answer, well, you're at the right place. So let's get started. Now, the parts of the body that work to build a baby. Now those are different in a female's body and a male's body. So these body parts are the area between your legs below your stomach. That area is different for females and males and those are called your reproductive organs, reproductive body parts. So now let's take a look at what exactly is the difference between the reproductive body parts of a female and a male. Now what you see on the left side is the female reproductive body part and on the right side is the male reproductive body part. Now in the male reproductive body part there is a tube like structure which is known as the penis and there is a soft sack or bag like structure behind the penis which is known as the testicle but in the female body part there is a small hole or an opening just below the area where you urinate from where urine comes from when you go to the toilet below that area there is a small opening in the female body part which is known as the vagina. So here we have the vagina in the females and in the males we have a penis and the testicle. Now inside the male testicle there are small tadpole like things known as sperms. So if you see inside the uh, testicle when you zoom in and take a look, there are these small tadpole like things swimming around known as sperms. Now they play a very very important part in helping create a baby. So let's see how these sperms enter the woman's body. Now to make a baby Inside the female's body, there is something known as an egg. And in the male body, as we just saw, there are sperms. So now it is when the sperm meets the egg that the baby is able to be created. So how does that happen? So when the female and the male decide, okay, let's make a baby. It's time to make a baby. We'd like to have a baby now. So that's when they decide. And then what they do is the male penis must be inserted inside the female vagina. This small opening that is there in the female reproductive body parts, that opening which is known as the vagina, inside that this tube-like structure which is the penis must be inserted. So after the penis is inserted from the testicle, the sperms come swimming out and through the penis they come out and enter the vagina. So, for the sperms to meet the egg, sperms are in the male body part, egg is in the female body part. For them to meet each other, the penis must be inserted inside the vagina and after that, the male can release the sperms and the sperms come swimming out through the penis and enter into the vagina and from there they enter into the female's body. That is how the sperms transfer from the male to the female. So if you see, the sperm and the egg combine together to form a baby. Now if you see, there are so many, 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 many sperms inside the male. But once he releases all the sperms into the female vagina through the penis, like a tap, it opens and from the penis sperms come out enter the hole of the vagina and enter the woman's body but not all the sperms are able to 
reach the egg so it's like a running race or since they are swimming it's like a swimming race so they have to swim really 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 fast and any one sperm is the winner who reaches the egg first so out of all the many many sperms that are released into the vagina only one sperm is the winner and able to reach the egg first so once that sperm reaches the egg it joins together and grows into a baby inside the woman well this is how babies are made i hope it's clear i hope you've understood how babies are made the names of the different parts of the body that work to help build new babies If you have any more questions you can leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you so until next time take care stay safe stay curious bye bye